Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing fine. So today I'm going to show you how to create a collection like this one, an NFT collection. Mm, as you can notice here, uh, you know, I think you all, you all know the CryptoPunk uh, NFT. So here, if you can notice, we have something that called the base. Why is the base? It's like the, 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 main, the main object. Here the main object is the, the face. So as example, we have like the face, the same eyes, same nose, same mouth. Sometimes, you know, they sometimes they put like small changes, and then you add different things. Uh, we call this layers. What is layers? Layers is something like you know glasses, hair, uh, sunglasses, stuff like that. And also we have the background, the background color. Like here we have blue, we have like, I don't know, dark red, purple, stuff like that. So uh, today I'm going to show you a code that will generate a lot of pictures. And uh, yeah, let's get, let's see this. First of all, to, to make sure like, um, uh, so, f first of all, we, we need to download the Node.js. The Node.js, you can download it from here, this link. Uh, it depends on which, uh, on which OS you're, uh, you're using. I'm using the Windows. I already downloaded it. Uh, the second thing is the, the VS, Visual Studio. I already have it too, but uh, you can download it here. It's free. Uh, we use this to execute our code that we're going to use later to generate the pictures. And lastly, we're going to check the uh, the code, the main code that, that's going to help us to generate all these pictures. Uh, this code is uh, available on GitHub. I will leave the link below. Uh, so yeah, this is the this is the code to download it. Just click code and then download zip, and then unzip it. So when you're gonna unzip it, you will find something like this. We have uh, we have these files, the index files and uh, some JSON files, and three folders. We have the input. Uh, this is the just the node modules, and also the output. Uh, so yeah, we have the output uh, folder here. The output normally we're gonna find some files. You better delete them because the output is the uh, we're gonna find here the picture that's gonna be, you know, generated from the code. Also for the input, this is the just the the sample that are downloaded with the code that we download from GitHub. But uh, later for your own projects. You have to delete these, these, uh, these, uh, these uh, folders and create your own. So for me, just for uh, this video, I'm just gonna use the, uh, you know, just to show you how to to make this work. I'm just gonna use the the folders that that we downloaded with the with the with the code. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see. So first, you have to open. Uh, you have to open uh, VS. Studio or VS Code. Go to File, Open Folder, and then it, the, the the folder that you unzipped. This is the the one that we unzipped. Uh, select the, the select the uh, the folder, and there you go. You will have all this uh, all the all the folders, all the files that that we found that we found in the in the in that folder. Uh, so we need to make some changes. Uh, we have to go to index. If you can notice here in the line eight, we have fifty. This is the number of the the, the number of the pictures that is gonna be generated. Here I I put fifty, but you can put more. I don't know, like one hundred or two hundred, as you want. Uh, and then, yeah, I think this is the only thing that we're gonna change in this file in the index.js. You just gonna you can just uh, change the number of uh, the picture generated, and then we're gonna go to to where 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 to the input. 